Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For today, I am going to do a comparisons video of these tinted sunscreens right here. So kung gusto nyong malaman guys kung ano yung thoughts ko with all of these tinted sunscreens, just keep on watching. Guys, disclaimer lang, I am not a beauty expert or a professional at any means. Yung mga isha-share ko dito sa inyo, honest to goodness, na based on my experience, tried and tested ko na tong mga products na to. And of course, always remember, these products may or may not work for you. So iba-iba po tayo ng skin type, iba-iba po tayo ng skin condition. So iba-iba din tayo ng experience with all of these products. So again guys, honest to goodness, kung ano yung aking talagang na-experience sa paggamit dito sa mga products na to, yun yung imi-mention ko sa inyo. By the way guys, isa sa mga tinted sunscreens na imi-mention ko dito, yun ang gamit ko sa aking face. So comment down below guys kung ano sa tingin nyo yung gamit kong tinted sunscreen for this makeup look. So guys, before ako magsimula, mamaya mapapansin nyo, nakatingin ako sa phone ko. Dito ko kasi nilagay yung notes or yung guideline list ko regarding with these products. Also, yung timeline nung aking pag-review, ilalagay ko na lang sa description box down below para at least uh, kung meron kayong specific na review na hinahanap, for example, yung coverage na, yung longevity niya, ayun, makikita nyo agad. Pwede na kayong magpunta dun sa clip na yun dito sa video na to. Yung mga ipapakita ko pala sa inyo guys, ang pagkasunod-sunod nila, yung base sa pinakaunang na-try ko sa kanilang lahat hanggang dun sa pinaka-newest na tinted sunscreen. Ang pagkasunod-sunod nila ay si Bello Sun Expert Tinted Sunscreen. Next ay itong si All Covered by AC na Skin Saver. Next ay si BLK Cosmetics na Skin Tint Sun Shield. And then itong si Sun Glow by Fresh na Cream Tinted Sunscreen. And ito yung pinakabago si Lux Organics na Ultimate Defense Tinted Sunscreen. Let's talk about first sa packaging. Itong si Bello Sun Expert na Perfecting Sun Shield Tinted Sunscreen. It comes in a squeezy tube. Next ay itong si Skin Saver na All Covered by AC. And ito naman, it comes with an airless pump na packaging. The LK Cosmetics Skin Tint Sun Shield, the same din siya kay Bello Sun Expert na squeezy tube yung kanyang packaging. Sun Glow by Fresh Cream Tinted Sunscreen, it comes with an airless pump. And si Lux Organic na Ultimate Defense Tinted Sunscreen, it comes in a squeezy tube packaging. So ngayon naman pag-usapan natin yung kung gaano karami yung nilalaman ng mismong product at the same time yung kanilang price. Itong si Bello, ang retail price niya ay 449 pesos and this one contains 50 ml of product. Si Skin Saver naman, this one, yung price niya ay 688 pesos and this one contains 30 ml. Si BLK Cosmetics naman, this one retails for 499 pesos. The only thing guys is nahihirapan talaga akong hanapin kung gaano kadami yung product na meron dito sa loob. Either 30 or 50 ml. Um, comment kayo guys sa baba gaano kadami yung product nitong BLK kasi hindi ko talaga siya mahanap. Pero this one, it's 499 pesos. Itong Sun Glow by Fresh naman, it contains 50 ml and yung price na ay 429 pesos. And itong si Ultimate Defense Tinted Sunscreen naman, it's 349 pesos and it contains 50 ml as well. Let's proceed sa shade range na meron silang ino-offer sa market. Etong si Bello na Sun Expert Perfecting Shield Tinted Sunscreen, isa lang yung kanyang shade. Itong si Skin Saver before, tatlo yung shade na available, which is si Light, Medium, and Tan. PLK Cosmetics naman, it comes with four shades, which is si Vanilla, Butterscotch, Almond, and Chestnut. Etong si Cream Tinted Sunscreen naman, it comes with three shades, which is si Fair, uh, Medium, and Deep. And itong si Lux Organics, it also has three shades, which is si Fair, Natural, and Warm. Itong mga tinted sunscreen na to guys, iba't iba yung kanilang mga claims and skincare benefits. Iba-iba din sila ng kinikater na sun protection. Merong SPF 30, may SPF 50, PA++ lang. Kung gagamit kayo ng tinted sunscreen that contains SPF 30, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum, okay na rin siya guys. Pwede nyo na siyang gamitin to protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. 
claims nila guys, itong si Bello, it says here that it has SPF 50, PA++++++. It ensures broad spectrum protection against harmful UV rays. It has tone adapt technology, kaya isa lang yung shade niya. Also, it has cell protect that strengthens skin defense against premature skin aging. Ito naman guys, si Skin Saver ng All Covered by AC. Wala siyang nakalagay dito kung ano yung mismong claims niya. Pero this one, it contains vitamin C, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, centella asiatica. So ito guys, meron siyang skincare benefits na okay para sa skin nyo. So guys, yung vitamin C, it can help to brighten up your complexion. Yung niacinamide naman, it's good for those who have like pimples, acne, and blemishes. And yung hyaluronic acid naman, it can help to reduce the appearance of our fine lines, yung ating mga wrinkles, so good to prevent signs of aging. Si BLK naman guys, naghahanap ako ng information regarding about the skincare benefits, but ang nakita ko lang talaga ay yung about sa kanyang sunscreen na protection. Etong si BLK Tinted Sunscreen, it has SPF 30, UVA, UVB, Broad Spectrum. Ito namang si Sun Glow by Fresh na cream tinted sunscreen. Yung key ingredients na Centella Asiatica, it says here, boost antioxidants that help treat skin impurities for a rapid healing process. For sunflower oil naman, this one will help to moisturize our skin. And yung niacinamide nga katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, this one is good for fine lines and wrinkles. Also guys, itong si Sun Glow by Fresh, it has SPF 50, PA++++, UVA, UVB protection na rin yung meron kayo to protect your skin. Last but not the least ay itong si Lux Organics naman. This one, it has SPF 50, PA++++, and it has Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate and Vitamin C. Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate guys, katulad ng sinabi ko dun sa um, nakaraang video ko, this one helps to brighten up the complexion of our skin. Also, it gives us yung parang um, healthy looking na skin because of the moisturizing and antioxidant or anti-aging properties na meron siya. Now, let's talk about the consistency of these tinted sunscreens. First, I see Bello Sun Expert. It's not thick. It's not also runny. So, somewhere in between lang siya. Para lang siyang yung mga moisturizer feels. Ganun yung consistency niya. Si All Covered by AC na Skin Saver naman, ayun, moussey type yung consistency niya. And definitely, it's thick. Um, pag ginanon mo siya, talagang mafe-feel mo na thick yung consistency niya. BLK na Skin Tint Sun Shield. It is a runny type of um, tinted sunscreen. Paano na siyang foundation, yung mga liquidy or watery foundation. Next naman ay si Sun Glow by Fresh Cream Tinted Sunscreen. Ayun guys, um, with the word itself na cream, ganun yung consistency niya. Para lang siyang cream. Parang creamy yung consistency niya. So again, it's not too thick, it's not too runny. Somewhere in between of um, those two, which is good. Next naman ay si Lux Organics. Ito guys, runny talaga siya. Or um, watery yung consistency niya. Let's proceed naman guys sa coverage. Iba-iba tayo ng preference when it comes to a coverage of a base makeup. Depende talaga sa tao kung gusto lang nilang light coverage, medium coverage, or yung full coverage. So, dito kay Bello Sun Expert, ito guys, I can say, um, light yung kanyang coverage. So, kung naghahanap kayo ng medyo nakakapagpabrighten up lang ng complexion, lightweight, or sheer yung kanyang coverage, go for the Bello Sun Expert. All covered by AC naman, ito masasabi ko, full coverage talaga siya guys. As in, kapag nagdalawang layer kayo, lahat na na gusto nyo takpan sa face. Matatakpan talaga. All of the imperfections, blemishes, um, yung aking mga veins, dyan, redness, talagang natakpan niya. So definitely, this is a full coverage tinted sunscreen. Next naman ay si BLK Cosmetics na Skin Tint Sun Shield. This one has medium coverage. Light to medium siya guys. It depends kung gaano kadami kayo maglalagay. Kung ito two layer niya siya, medium yung coverage na maibibigay niya sa skin niyo. Ito naman kay Sun Glow by Fresh, I can say na medium to medium high coverage. So buildable siya guys. Pwede niyong gawin na light coverage lang sa skin niyo. Pwede din namang medium high. Ako guys, natry ko na na dalawang layer to and okay na okay siya sa skin ko. Natakpan din niya yung aking mga redness, yung blemishes ko. Itong si Lux Organics naman guys, it's the same with the Sun Glow by Fresh. Medium to medium high coverage siya. It depends talaga sa inyo kung paano niyo siya i-apply. 
pero para sa akin kapag nag two layers ako, matatakpan niya talaga yung imperfections sa aking skin. So in my opinion lang guys, if you have like uh, mga pimples o kaya yung mga malalaking bumps ng pimples or acne, kung naghahanap talaga kayo ng coverage, definitely ang ma recommend ko ay itong si Skin Saver and itong si Cream Tinted Sunscreen. For the undertones naman itong mga tinted sunscreen, si Bello guys, I can say na since nag adapt siya sa skin tone, uh, medyo may pagka-neutral undertone siya. Not too warm, not too pinkish, or yung cool undertone. Ito naman guys, si All Covered Skin Saver. Um, upon swatching it sa aking balat, dito sa, sa back of my hand, and dito magkaiba sila. So kapag na-blend na siya, it looks more neutral undertone. And habang tumatagal, meron siyang grayish or parang ash she undertone. So, keep that in mind. Si BLK Cosmetics naman, ito talaga yellow warm undertone siya. By the way, I got the shade um, Butterscotch. They lean towards more of the warm undertone. So, tayo mga Pilipinas, since we have yellow undertone, mga morena, perfect yung mga kinikater nilang shades. Ito namang si Sun Glow by Fresh. Upon application and blending dito sa aking skin, napansin ko na neutral yung undertone niya. Um, kapag sinwatch mo kasi siya, mukha talaga siyang yellow undertone. Pero kapag blended na siya sa aking skin, neutral yung itsura nung undertone niya sa akin. And may hint siya ng warm undertone. Ito namang si Lux Organics, guys. Kapag sinwatch na siya sa kamay nyo, mukha talaga siyang yellow. Mukha talaga siyang may uh, hint of warmth doon sa mismong product. Pero once blended guys, sa habang tumatagal, parang mas, para siyang pumuputi, pero yung pagkaputi niya medyo grayish, medyo ashy yung undertone niya. Dalawang beses ko na to na reapply sa aking skin and it looks the same na parang medyo may pagka-grayish. Pero again, iba yung swatch niya. Iba yung kulay niya nung sinwatch ko. I wanted to let you know guys na yung mga products sa akin nag-oxidize. Yung chemical reaction kasi ng natural oils ko, nung skin ko, tsaka nung products na gagamitin ko. Pag nag-combine sila together, ayun, um, nag-oxidize yung products. So, keep that in mind. Ganun yung reaction sa skin ko ng mga products na to. Let's talk about naman yung application and blendability niya sa ating skin. Etong si Sun Expert guys, kapag ginagamit ko to, pinaka gusto kong gamitin ay yung aking fingertips. Para lang talaga akong naglalagay ng moisturizer. So, sobrang bilis lang niyang ma-blend sa skin ko. Next naman na itong si Skin Saver. Definitely, you can use a foundation brush o kaya naman a damp sponge. Pag fingertips guys, since medyo thick siya, nahihirapan akong i-blend sa aking skin. So, ang pinaka prefer ko sa paggamit ng skin saver ay yung damp sponge. Seamless siya at the same time since this is full coverage, um, mas nakokontrol ko yung nailalagay kong product sa aking skin. BLK Cosmetics naman guys na Skin Tint Sun Shield, you can use also your foundation brush, damp sponge, and also your fingertips. Pero para sa akin, mas gusto ko yung aking fingertips by using this. Dali lang siyang i-blend. Kapag damp sponge kasi, since runny or watery nga yung consistency niya, mabilis siyang na-absorb nung damp sponge. So, sayang sa product. But, if you want na seamless, you can use your fingertips and then sya kanyang pasadahan ng damp sponge. Actually guys, itong si BLK Skin Tint na Sun Shield, parehas lang din sa application and blendability nito. Pwedeng-pwede nyong gamitin yung foundation brush nyo, damp sponge, and also your fingertips. Um, para sa akin, para ma-achieve nyo yung full coverage, of course, you can use your fingertips o kaya naman yung inyong foundation brush. But if you want yung parang seamless, yung walang sticky marks talaga, as in parang medyo airbrush looking, you can use your fingertips and then sya ka nyo i-blend ng maigi ng sponge, damp sponge. So, yun yung aking ma-recommend when it comes sa application nito. Sa lahat ng nabanggit kong tinted sunscreen, hindi ako nahirapan sa kanilang i-blend. Most probably, pinakamadaling i-blend ay itong si Bello kasi nga, sabi ko sa inyo, para lang siyang moisturizer. Um, siguro, with the fingertips, ang pinakamahirap ay ito since this is a full coverage and thick consistency siya. By the way, guys, I have a dry, sensitive skin pero it varies sa weather. Depende lang din talaga kung ano na yung weather sa amin, kung mainit ba, malamig. Same sa inyo yun, guys, for sure. Dito kasi sa amin, we have four seasons and pa-summer na kami at mainit na talaga dito. So, I think magiging combination na yung aking skin. Pero most probably guys, ang pinaka-driest part ng aking face ay itong areas na to. Which is yung lower part ng aking cheek area. 
For the finish naman itong mga tinted sunscreen, si Bello Sun Expert. It has sheer natural finish. Itong si All Covered by AC naman, this is definitely a matte finish. Itong si BLK Skin Tint Sun Shield, it has natural semi-matte finish. And itong si Sun Glow tsaka si Lux Organics, both of them has dewy finish. Nakakatuwa lang guys kasi sobrang dami ng tinted sunscreen sa Philippines. And you have your options kung matte man yan, natural yung finish, semi-matte or dewy. So nakakatuwa lang talagang makitang nag improve talaga yung ating mga brands sa Philippines. Ngayon naman guys, isi-share ko sa inyo yung performance nito sa aking dry skin. Meron ditong ibang products na natry ko nung nasa Pilipinas ako. And dung nandun ako ang aking... Skin type ay combination, which is yung T-zone area ko ay oily and itong parts na to ay dry. So itong si Bello Sun Expert, I can say na up to 6 hours, um, okay pa rin siya sa aking skin. Hindi siya naghuhulas and na-brighten up niya talaga yung complexion ng aking skin. Since this one has light coverage and lightweight lang siya sa aking mukha, yung pakiramdam niya hindi siya malagkit. Like kahit suot ko na siya at the end of the day, okay pa rin siya. Hindi siya yung parang mukhang may Makeup tea, since this is more of like a skincare product, hindi siya yung mukha ka talagang may suot na makeup. So, hindi ko sa kanya napapansin na parang nagkikrease or parang nagka-crack or yung cakey yung itsura ng aking makeup kapag ito yung ginagamit kong base. Ito namang si Skin Saver, guys. Natry ko to nung nasa Pilipinas ako and okay na okay siya sa akin kahit nag-oil up na yung aking T-zone area. Um, siguro, kailangan ko lang talaga mag-well prep kung saan yung pinaka-dry yung aking skin. Pero pag winter, guys, hindi ko siya magamit kasi medyo drying siya sa skin. So, you really need to moisturize and well prep your skin para at least easy to glide on itong product na to. Pero ang masasabi ko with the matte finish na ibibigay nito, nakatulong talaga siya to hold up yung mismong uh, makeup ko na parang stay in place siya dyan, na intact pa rin siya. Usually, guys, kapag gumagamit ako ng mga matte foundation or matte base makeup sa aking face, yung skin ko talaga nahahalata yung pagiging text Niya. But with this one, since this is a matte finish, hindi niya na-accentrate masyado yung mga dry patches ko. So sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung gagamitin niyo to at you have dry skin, just use a moisturizer and well prep nyo lang talaga yung skin nyo. And if you have oily skin, probably this will work for you guys. Kasi sa akin, 7 to 8 hours before ko talaga makita na alam nyo yun, um, medyo oily na yung skin ko sa T-zone area. But nonetheless, all throughout the day, okay na okay to sa akin. Sa lahat guys, nang natry kong tinted sunscreen, ito yung madalas ko talagang ginagamit before ko ma-discover si Sun Glow tsaka si Lux Organics. So this one has medium coverage and yellow warm undertone siya. So na-replace na yung aking mga foundation. Actually, hindi ko na nga masyadong ginagamit yung mga foundation ko because of this. Um, since it has SPF 30 UVA UVB, ito na yung ginagamit kong protection din sa aking face. This one really covers up my blemishes, yung aking mga dark spots, yung aking mga hyperpigmentation. Since this one is more of a natural semi-matte finish, at the end of the day, nagmumukha na siyang dewy. Pero hindi siya yung dewy na mukhang dugyot. Dewy na mukhang healthy looking yung skin. Si Sun Glow by Fresh, guys, by 5 to 6 hours, okay pa rin siya sa aking skin. Ngayong medyo umiinit na sa amin, napansin ko nung ginamit ko to, nag-oil up ako ng mga around ika 5th to 6 hour dito sa aking T-zone area. Pero kahit pinagpapawisan ako, hindi siya naging mukhang patchy tingnan. Hindi siya naghuhulas at hindi nagka-crack or yung parang nagiging mukhang cakey yung aking makeup. Also, eto, with the coverage na medium to medium high coverage, natakpan niya talaga yung aking mga blemishes, yung aking mga imperfections sa skin. Pero upon application guys, this one has more of like neutral undertone and medyo maputi siya sa akin. And isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa kanya ay habang tumatagal, nagiging okay yung shade niya sa skin ko, nagiging okay yung lapat niya sa skin ko. Since nagpo-produce na nga ng oil yung aking skin, it looks more dewier. May ganun bang ano? May ganun bang term? Mas dewy siya. Yun yung dewy na, yun, the same thing healthy looking yung skin. Sa Lux Organics guys, the same thing with Sun Glow. By 5 to 6 hours na suot-suot ko to, okay pa rin siya sa skin ko. Since yun nga, ganun yung mga 
oras na nagpo-produce ako ng natural oil sa aking T-zone area. Okay pa rin yung lapat niya sa skin ko. The same thing, hindi din siya nakaka-accentuate ng mga dry patches. And alam nyo bang, napansin ko sa kanya, sa lahat ng mga tinted sunscreen na nagamit ko, ito yung parang may blurring properties. Yung aking pores dito sa area na to, hindi siya masyado visible. Tapos yung textured skin ko, mas smooth siya. Smooth looking siya compared sa mga nagamit kong tinted sunscreen. Okay. Yun yung isa sa mga nagustuhan ko dito. The only thing guys na napansin ko lang sa kanya sa performance niya is that habang tumatagal, yung shade niya para siyang ashy, hint ng pagka-grayish undertone. If you get what I mean. Then, aking recommendation for you guys. Again, this is based on my experience. It's honest to goodness, yung mga i-recommend ko sa inyo, ito yung sa tingin ko na possible mag-work sa skin niyo. So again, it may or it may not work for you guys. Best for dry and combination skin with coverage and skincare benefits for daily use. Ang may recommend ko ay itong si Sun Glow by Fresh and itong si Lux Organics. Both of them, they have dewy finish. Meron naman kayong dry skin and kaya nyong matolerate na hindi kayo maglagay ng setting powder. Okay din naman guys. Pero if I were you, kahit ako may dry skin, nini-make sure ko na nilalock ko in place yung aking makeup by using a powder. So ito guys, ito yung may recommend ko for those who want to use a daily tinted sunscreen na with skincare benefits, with good coverage, and okay para sa may mga dry and combination skin. Best for oily skin naman guys, na merong skincare benefits and maganda yung coverage, of course, dito ako kaya Skin Saver. This one has matte finish and kung may oily skin kayo, okay na okay to. Kapag binit nyo yung face nyo with a loose setting powder at binake nyo pa yun, ewan ko na lang. Pero believe me or not, this one will work for you. And of course, it's better for you to use a primer. Kung may oily skin kayo and primer believer kayo, use your best primer para at least okay na okay, intact talaga yung inyong makeup. So para sa akin guys, again, if you have oily skin, you want matte finish, and also kung gusto nyo yung talagang may coverage and with skincare benefits, go for Skin Saver. Best for daily use na lightweight lang sa feeling and less lang yung coverage niya or light lang yung coverage niya. Of course, dito tayo kay Velo Sun Expert na Perfecting Shield Tinted Sunscreen. Ito talaga guys, sabi ko sa inyo, paulit-ulit na ako. Skincare lang talaga siya for me na may onting hint lang ng tint or yung parang pigment. And kung naghahanap kayo yung parang um, gusto nyo lang na mag-brighten up yung complexion nyo, parang semi-tone up cream, go for this one. So best for daily use na may coverage with skincare benefits and okay yung price or let's say affordable yung price Lux Organics. Ito kasi guys, it has SPF 50, PA++++ and it has medium to medium high coverage so buildable yung coverage niya and with the price na 349 pesos ito yung marerecommend ko talaga sa inyo si Lux Organics so, meron tong pros and cons sa akin mang cons talaga niya ay yung shade range na meron sila tsaka yung effect niya sa aking skin na nag-oxidize pero kung for daily use lang din naman guys with coverage with skincare benefits and with the price itself Ito yung may recommend ko sa inyo. Okay na okay to. Before ko pala sabihin guys, yung last na recommendation ko dito, I just wanted to let you know na ang pinaka-pricey or yung pinaka-expensive sa mga tinted sunscreen na nabanggit ko dito ay itong si Skin Saver. This one is 688 pesos and contains 30 ml. I myself as a consumer, syempre namamahal lang din ako at 688 pesos for 30 ml of a tinted sunscreen product. Samantalang kasi yung iba, they have 50 ml, they also have skincare benefits but yung price range nila hindi tumataas sa 450 pesos. So keep that in mind, yung skin saver, siya yung pinaka expensive. Again, the price is 688 pesos. Nahulaan nyo na ba guys yung suot kong tinted sunscreen sa video na to? Ito din kasi yung pinakahuling um, i-recommend ko for this description na best for daily use with coverage 
and with skincare benefits, but i set aside natin yung price. <laughs> Ito yung Sun Glow by Fresh Cream Tinted Sunscreen. So, bakit sabi ko iset aside yung price? Kasi guys, may mas mura pa which is si Lux Organics. Pero bakit mas nagustuhan ko to? Not biased guys. Honest to goodness lang yung opinion ko. Okay na sana kasi itong si Lux Organics. Siguro marirate ko siya mga 8 out of 10. It's because malaking factor talaga sa akin yung shade range. Mas talo na ako mahilig ako mag makeup. And ako talaga mapuna ako sa makeup ko. Sa makeup ko lang naman guys. So, syempre ayaw naman natin na magkaiba yung tone dito sa taas, tsaka dito sa baba. Unlike kasi itong si Sun Glow by Fresh, guys, um, same lang din sila. It has skincare benefits, SPF 50, PA++++. Ang kinagusto ko sa kanya is yung undertone niya sa aking skin tone. Um, sa una kapag in-apply mo siya, medyo neutral siya, pero pag tumatagal habang suot ko siya, nag adapt siya mismo sa aking skin. So, ibig sabihin siguro okay yung um, chemical reaction ng aking skin, ng environment, saka ng mismong product sa mismong balat ko. So, yun yung isa sa mga nagustuhan ko guys kung bakit ito talaga yung napili ko na mai-recommend ko sa inyo. All of the tinted sunscreen that I mentioned in this video, lahat sila magaganda. Meron silang iba't ibang use, meron silang iba't ibang in-offer. Hindi lahat ay pare-pareho. So, ang kinaganda nga dito sa mga tinted sunscreen screen na to, maiba na matte finish, maiba na dewy finish, maiba na natural looking lang, iba yung coverage na ino-offer ng isa, iba din yung, yung coverage na ino-offer ng pangalawa. So, para sa akin, guys, meron nang talagang nakakaangat sa kanila. I'm just being honest sa inyo, guys. I am also a consumer, and para sa akin, the one that works very well sa kanila na masasabi ko kung i-rate ko, mga 9.5 out of 10 is itong si Sun Glow by Fresh. Yung naman, guys, yung aking mga na-experience with this tinted sunscreen. Hindi lahat, guys, natakil ko dito sa comparison video na to, and I know medyo mahaba na to. It's really difficult to um, put this to a test. Lahat sila like sabay-sabay. Kaya gusto ko lang talaga kayo bigyan ng um, quick insight regarding with this tinted sunscreen. It's very in ngayon sa ating panahons. And always remember guys, kapag gagamit pala kayo ng mga sunscreen or tinted sunscreen products, um, kailangan nyo mag apply ng sunscreen. So, yun lang guys for this video. Sana natuwa kayo sa ginawa kong video today and sana nagustuhan nyo to. Pasensya na kung medyo mahaba guys. Pero I I will try my best to edit this na maging maiksi siya. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And of course, if you do like this video, you can click the thumbs up button. And if you want to get notified in my future uploads in this channel, you can click the subscribe or the bell button down below. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on my next videos. Bye!